Welcome back! Alright then, here we go. End game. Let's finish this. The Temple of Obnana. It looked as if its glorious days were very much in the past. Hmm, a bunch of enemies. Bunch of oh jeez. A bunch of really, really powerful ones. Oh hell yeah, my favorites. Jeez, yeah, no, really. The, the most powerful enemies. Hopefully, that was really good against you all. Oh my god, there's so many attacks right now. Please all die. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> yeah, this, this is not messing around, is it? The PS4 is... Is like just exploding. <laughs> Please, PS4. Please stop exploding. There we go. We're good. Is that the best you have to offer? Is that the last defense you have? If so, you know, you put up quite a fight and uh, the PS4 is suffering because of it. Man, if this was the game that killed my PS4. I'd be very unhappy, <laughs> but it it won't. I have actually had the PS4 since day one, though, um, of the console's launch, which is pretty impressive, I think. Because how many years is that now? Five, six years? It's pretty good. Temple of Oblina. Well, how big is this place? I mean, it's a temple, so it has the potential to be huge. But what I mean by that is, is there just going to be a boss? Or is there going to be a fully-fledged world in here? We will soon find out. But first, I want to collect some prizes. So if there is a fully-fledged world, you can bet that I'm going to want to level up again. It can't hurt. Right, straight into the heart of the world, eh? It looks really cool. It actually does, it looks pretty awesome. These feel like final steps before the boss, but I'm sure there's more to it than that. Or maybe not. <laughs> Gallant is aware of this. Alright, final boss. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa, this looks awesome. Oh, hell yes. This looks amazing. Okay, the game is like... Oh, man, the game is tanking hard. Please, game, don't do this. You were doing so well. You were performing so well. The legends say that the temples were the places where mortals could talk with the elders. But people stopped making their offerings, and many of the temples were abandoned. In turn, the elder protectors chose to leave humanity to their own devices. But Galand had a quest, a pact with them he had no intention of breaking. At that moment, a blast of wind shook Galland, and he realized that this had to be the source of Malira's power. Alright then. Final boss, let's go. Plot twist is not anywhere near the final boss. Oh, 
I like the uh, the candles or the um well not candles, what what would they be? I don't know, just the the flames being lit one by one. What is the uh I guess the technical term for for this? Like for well, the the bowl that's holding the the flame. Is there a specific name? I don't know. The music's very calming. I'm assuming that will change very soon. I've seen your heart, kid, and it's not what I would call kind. Why do you think I cursed you? You loafer! Those statues just told you a bunch of lies. The truth is that I'm the only one who can lift the curse. Prepare to meet your maker. <laughs> You are pretty big right now. <laughs> okay, Malira, let's go. Let's see what you can really do. I'm guessing a lot, and that's fair enough. Okay, so enemy gauntlet then hit you somehow. Seemingly, that is what it appears to be, yes. Oh. Okay. Arena gets a little bit harder to traverse, but I can get on board with that. This is pretty cool. Oh my, okay, that was fine. Is that going to come towards me? Seemingly not. Can I make that? Yeah, I can. It did not look like I could, but fair enough. I needed to have faith in the game, and I did not, clearly. Okay, one to go, I think. This is actually quite cool. Enemies. Oh, of course. Down, move. There we go, nice. Excellent. Oh, you're not dead. There you are. That everyone? Uh, yeah, oh. Oh, I'm glad I moved here. Didn't realize that the floor was gonna disappear. Oh, do you want me to go back? Or do you want me to jump through here? I guess jump through here, sweet. I was going to say, do you want me to go back all the way around? Because that seems very difficult. But the answer to that is no. No, you don't. Okay, what happens to you now, Malira? Let's find out. One of three. Yeah, it's all that coming. Interesting. Yeah, I knew that was going to be the case. I like that it's actually incorporating all a bunch of things from all the uh, all the levels we've been to. That's actually pretty cool. This is a cool final boss. Probably really hard or annoying if you die though, because I feel like this is the kind of final boss that if you do die. You have to redo absolutely everything, and that's not the greatest. I hope you all die. Because you have a lot of health. And, oh, there's so many of you. Okay, well, I got my health back, so I'm good. Move. It does give you a lot of time, 
to be fair. Uh, oh, no, you don't. Okay. No, no. Oh, well, we're about to find out what happens when you die, aren't we? Did it give me a checkpoint? That is the grand question. It did. That is extremely generous. That is extremely generous. Thank you. I will not complain about that. I was fully prepared to have to restart from the beginning. I imagine at some point during development that probably wasn't the case. And they were probably like, you know what? People hate it if you have to actually redo all of it. And you're right, people would hate it if you actually had to redo all of it. Because it is a lot to have to do. It's a big ask. All of them? I think so. Okay. The timing on this wasn't exactly difficult. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I just screwed it up. Does it sink into the lava? It, ah, it doesn't fully. Which is good to know. Cool, there we go, we're good. Okay, two down, one to go. In this phase. Enemy gauntlet. Yes, of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Having no enemies would be stupid. God, there's so many things happening. Please all die. I'm about to die myself, so please all die. Run. Okay, just you left, I think. Yep, cool. Alright, good. That was uh, a nightmare. Now what am I dodging? Something that's way easier than the last one. <laughs> Oh no, a conveyor belt. Whatever shall I do? Does it go into the lava? Not completely. We should be good. Nalira, two down, one to go. Let's see what you can do in the final phase. I'm expecting your absolute worst. Whoa, that was some lag. Okay. That was terrifying. Don't ever do that again. from Sonic Lost World, the first boss you fight of the Sinister Six or whatever they're called, I forget their names. He does though, it only just occurred to me, oh of course there's two rounds of them, of course there is, that would be too easy otherwise. We can't have this be easy, lol. Run. Please stop it. Okay, good. I look forward to facing one more enemy gauntlet and then being free. Hi, yeah. So I guess I did the levels out of order. 
flip it. Um, because this is, uh, this is the Vimto Palace. Uh, the Vimto Factory. And, uh, Vimto Factory, I did second. So, yeah, I guess I did them out of order, but, oh well. I don't think it really made a difference, to be fair. Right. Onslaught of enemies, let's go. Let's not screw this up. I would love to not. I haven't died to enemies before, I would like to not die now. Now! Okay, that did quite nicely. Not perfect, but it was a treat. Okay, you're down, as we will be in a second. Somehow survived, and here comes phase two, yes? Oh my god, look, phase two, what a surprise, I didn't see it coming. Now I just gotta survive the next platforming section, and then I win, yes? Then it's game over, yes? I think so. I just gotta not screw this up. What is this? Seemingly not too difficult as of right now. Wow, okay, that was mildly terrifying for a second there. Are these gonna do anything? Again, seemingly not. Just this to go. Game over! Because not everyone gets a second chance. But everybody deserves one. You gave it to me when you cursed me. Because without it, I wouldn't have understood how wonderful life is. And how I was squandering my time. Though now, I'm giving it to you. Now I understand everything. My thirst for power took me to dark places. I'm sorry. Your shield. It won't hold for much longer. Touch my staff. I'll get you out of here. Wait. Are you saying that... In the end, Malir saved Galand? That's correct. When she was defeated, Malira realized that dark magic wasn't the most powerful or only kind of magic. And was he knighted for defeating the evil witch? No, no, my dear. He didn't need tributes or minstrel ballads. He didn't ask for mercy or favors because of his errors. His laziness had been his undoing, hope his guide, and his shield his brother. But time was all he yearned for, a little slice of life. A life to smile, rejoice, and share the happiness he now possessed. Galland had proven that his heart was indeed Pure. But was he able to recover the time he had lost? <laughs> what do you think, Effie? That was nice.
nice. That was a nice game. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Let me do a review score kind of thing. Oh, oh this music's lovely. This music's absolutely lovely. Um, yes. So graphic style and graphical design. I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's very nice looking. I think it's a very nice looking game. I quite like it a lot. Um, very, very nice colour. Yeah, actually, you know, I'll, go, I'll give it an 8. I've, the colouring is, in particular is really vivid and, and really nicely done. I really liked it. Um, music and audio, yeah, solid soundtrack. Not like anything I'd be like, oh yeah, super memorable per se, but but nice. So, guess a 6. Uh, story and dialogue, well, it's clear that it, uh, English isn't their first language, looking at uh, a bunch of the names, so... I'll give them a full pass on all the, uh, the uh, errors with the um, subtitles. Totally understandable. Don't blame them anyway. Just found it interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, the story wasn't amazing or anything, but yeah, it wasn't terrible, so let's give it a sick, shall we? Um, gameplay and level design. A little bit repetitive in terms of the fighting, uh, especially on the bosses. You can argue it's just the same sort of thing, but platforming was solid. Um, Yes, thank you very much to all the people who made this, and thank you to their families as well. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I uh, I think the gameplay was actually really, really fun. Um, really lovely, really just generally um, enjoyable. Felt good to play as well. Um, puzzles were interesting. A little simple here and there, but not bad. So again, I'll give it a look at a seven. We play ability in length. It's not a long game. I've played this for about three, three and a half hours, but I didn't go through absolutely everything. There is more to get. Uh, so I think if I had gone through everything, it'd probably be around maybe five to six hours, maybe seven at a stretch. Um, and I'm up for going off camera, getting the rest of it. I, I enjoy my time with this. So again, let me play ability in length. Let's give it a say seven, shall we? Um, so all that's and done. I'm going to add it all together. 14, 20, 26. 32, that gives it a 6.4, 64 out of 100, let's go 6.5 to 7. Um, yeah, you know, 6.5, 6.5 I think is fair. Solid, solid time, had fun with it. Um, yeah, just, uh, just a good time. And there's, uh, that's Effie right there. That's them, just, just sitting down enjoying the music, uh, enjoying the story. Yeah, that was super cool. I, I had a great time with Effie, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, um, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. Uh, yeah, if you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, share the video around, and I will see you next time for whatever I do next. Take care. Bye-bye.